High in the cloud-wrapped peaks of the Himalayas, where nature roars and rivers cut through mountains like liquid blades, China is building something colossal. It's called the Medog Hydropower Station, and with a projected cost of over $100 billion, it's set to become the most powerful hydroelectric facility the world has ever seen. Yarlung Sangpo River is a force of nature revered and feared in equal measure. The river originates near the sacred peaks around Mount Kailash and courses across the Tibetan Plateau with relentless energy. As it winds its way eastward, it reaches a dramatic juncture near the Namcha Barwa Mountain, where it takes a sharp, nearly 50-kilometer U-turn. Over this stretch, the river plunges almost 2,000 meters, creating one of the deepest canyons on Earth, a natural staircase of water that has engineers salivating at the prospect of harnessing its kinetic might. China's blueprint for the Medog hydropower stations is both futuristic and formidable. The plan is to tap into this dramatic elevation drop by constructing four enormous tunnels, each about 20 kilometers long, that will be carved right through the rugged Himalayan rock. These tunnels will divert a portion of the Yarlung Sangpo's flow to drive state-of-the-art turbines hidden deep beneath the surface. The result? A staggering 60 gigawatts of hydroelectric power, a capacity that triples that of the famed Three Gorges Dam, scheduled to begin construction by 2029, with commercial operations set to roll out by 2033. The project is positioned to become the largest hydroelectric station in human history. Yet, with ambition comes risk. The Himalayas are not a placid playground. They are a dynamic, seismic wonderland where the Earth is constantly on the move. This region is notorious for its tectonic unrest, where earthquakes and landslides are part of the natural order. Building a structure of this scale in such an environment is akin to performing delicate surgery on an unstable living organism. A significant seismic event could jeopardize not only the integrity of the dam, but also trigger catastrophic flooding downstream. The engineering challenges are immense, and while China has a storied history of monumental infrastructure projects, this dam pushes the envelope into uncharted territory. The environmental stakes are just as high. The area surrounding the Great Bend of the Yarlung Tsangpo is a treasure trove of biodiversity. Rare species, ancient forests, and unique ecosystems call this region home. The construction of massive tunnels, extensive blasting, and subsequent alterations to the river's natural flow have raised alarm bells among ecologists and environmental groups worldwide. They warn that the project could lead to irreversible ecological damage, a tragic loss of pristine wilderness in one of the planet's last remaining untamed frontiers. Moreover, climate change compounds these risks. As glacial melt patterns shift and unpredictable weather becomes the norm, the long-term reliability of the river's flow, upon which the dam's power generation depends, remains in question. Globally, the reaction to China's mega dam has been a blend of intrigue, apprehension, and strategic calculation. With no formal water-sharing treaty in place, Bangladesh faces the possibility of reduced river flow, altered sediment patterns, and even flash floods that could devastate agricultural communities. Similarly, several Southeast Asian nations, already bruised by China's previous dam projects on the Mekong, view the Medog Dam as a harbinger of a new era of upstream water control. They see it as a demonstration of China's willingness to reshape natural resources to suit its ambitions, regardless of the potential cost to the environment or regional stability. Environmental advocacy groups have been especially vocal, describing the Medog hydropower station as a climate time bomb waiting to go off. Organizations like WWF and International Rivers argue that the project represents a dangerous precedent, a willingness to prioritize short-term energy gains over the long-term health of the planet. They fear that if such a colossal transformation of a natural river system goes unchecked, it could set off a chain reaction of ecological degradation that might be impossible to reverse. This isn't merely an issue of engineering or economics, it's a profound ethical and environmental dilemma. Adding another layer of complexity is the cultural dimension. For Tibetan communities, the Yarlung Tsangpo is much more than a river. It's a sacred symbol steeped in centuries of spiritual tradition. To many Tibetans, the river embodies the spirit of the land, 
a living, breathing entity that sustains both the physical and metaphysical worlds. The thought of rerouting and mechanizing such a revered natural force is seen by some as a deep cultural desecration. Protests, both silent and vociferous, have emerged among local groups and Tibetan exiles, who view the dam as yet another blow to their ancestral heritage. This cultural resistance underscores the fact that infrastructure projects of this magnitude are never just about economics. They are also about identity, memory, and the right to self-determination. Despite the swirling controversy and monumental risks, China's motivations for undertaking this mega-project are clear. On one level, the Medog hydropower station is a strategic move to secure a massive boost in renewable energy. With an ambitious goal to achieve carbon neutrality by 2060, China sees this dam as a key component in its green energy arsenal, a way to power millions of homes and industries with clean, sustainable electricity. On another level, the project is a bold statement of technological prowess and national ambition. It signals that no challenge is too formidable, no terrain too hostile, and no river too wild for China's engineering ingenuity. The Medog Dam also speaks to a future where water becomes the new currency of power. As climate change accelerates and water scarcity emerges as a critical global issue, control over major rivers like the Yarlung Tsangpo could translate into significant geopolitical leverage. Countries downstream, such as Bangladesh, are already bracing for a future where water flows may be dictated not by nature, but by strategic imperatives. While the immediate focus remains on energy and engineering, the long-term implications of this project hint at a world where water rights and environmental stewardship become central to international relations. The Medog Hydropower Station, with its $100 plus billion price tag and unprecedented scale, stands as a monumental testament to human ambition. It encapsulates both the promise and peril of modern megaprojects. On one hand, it offers the possibility of unlocking vast reservoirs of renewable energy that could propel China, and potentially the world, into a greener future. On the other hand, it represents a high-stakes gamble with nature, where even a small miscalculation could unleash disastrous consequences. As construction looms on the horizon, the world watches with bated breath. The dam is not just a structure of concrete and steel, it is a symbol of our time, a reflection of the technological leaps we aspire to and the ecological boundaries we risk overstepping. It raises profound questions about the balance between progress and preservation, about the costs we're willing to pay for energy independence, and about the legacy we leave for future generations. In the end, the Medog hydropower station may one day light up millions of homes and fuel the engines of industry, or it could become a cautionary tale, a monument to unchecked ambition and environmental hubris. Only time will tell whether this Himalayan megadam will be remembered as a triumph of human ingenuity or as a stark warning of nature's indomitable power. As the first shovels of concrete prepare to meet ancient rock, one thing is certain. The journey ahead is as unpredictable and awe-inspiring as the river it seeks to tame.